Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So it is a breezy cool day here on the Saskatchewan prairies and I'm just out in the garden doing all those end of year jobs that need to get done. And one thing I'm going to be working on today is planting my garlic. So I'm just getting my cloves ready to uh, plant into my garden bed and I just wanted to show you this is some of my harvest from last year's garlic. This is garlic that I grew from last year. And I was pretty excited about the size of them. I've enjoyed a lot of these in my cooking, but I decided to save a few of these to replant again and see how they do. But I needed more garlic, of course, so I made an order to mine in soil to get one of Jordan's uh, garlic kits. And when I received them, this is the garlic cloves or garlic bulbs that I received. So as you can see, these are way larger than what I grew. So when I was talking to Jordan, thanking him for sending me his beautiful garlic kit, he uh, made a suggestion that I try doing a fun little growing challenge with these two sizes of garlic bulbs. This will have obviously smaller cloves. This one's going to have some big ones when we start taking them apart here. And they say the bigger the cloves, the bigger the bulb you should get. So I'm going to get these all ready to plant and take you over to my garden bed and we'll go through all the things you need to know when planting garlic in a cold climate. So when you start peeling these, getting these ready to plant, they suggest you don't do this part until just before you are ready to plant in your clove. So I'm just going to remove some of the layers here, gently rip them apart. So I'm going to be planting a hardneck variety. This is called the Red Russian. Hardnecks are a good variety to be growing in a cold climate. They are very hardy to cold climates such as mine. There is also the softneck variety that you can grow, but it's more suitable for warmer growing zones. So I always stick with the hardneck here. It's been a good variety for me, and I really like this Red Russian. So this is what my first set of garlic cloves look like. You don't want to peel any more off than that to keep it that protective layer on there. So those are some pretty nice sized cloves really. So we'll keep them separate over here. So now we're just going to rip open one of these bigger bulbs here. See what kind of cloves we have inside. You can see the hard neck kind of has a stem that goes down the middle. You can just remove that. So from that one bulb, I got six cloves of garlic here that I can plant. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two different sizes here. So I just wanted to also point out when you're getting your cloves all cleaned up and ready to plant that sometimes you come across some that are rotten maybe or dried out or they're just very small. So those ones you don't want to try planting. Something like this you can just use in your cooking. Some of these rotten ones like this can just go into your compost pile. So let's talk a little bit about the kind of soil you want to plant your garlic in. So here I have set up a grow box garden bed. This is my second garden bed that I've purchased from grow box. They are a great Canadian company. I'll leave a link to their website below. But this one is an 11 inch depth so it's not quite as high as the other one that I purchased here which I believe is a 17 inch and the reason I've gone with a lower one here is I want to make sure that these garlic bulbs are well insulated this winter last year I did try planting garlic in some of these 30 gallon red tubs and they didn't make it through the winter they just weren't insulated enough and they froze too hard over the winter because we get very cold winters here on the prairies. It can go to minus 35, even minus 40, sometimes for short periods of time in the winter. So things have to be really well insulated here to make it through the winter. So with this garden bed here, I'm hoping that if I plant the garlic deep enough, give it a really good mulch, that it should be okay. Hi there, I hope you're enjoying today's video and will keep following me on my channel. Just wanted to also remind you to make sure that you click on the link below to subscribe to my little garden newsletter. 
So in my newsletter, I hope that you will find all sorts of useful information on how you can garden year-round, no matter where you live. And I also want to let you know I have an exciting announcement coming to the channel. So if you're subscribed to that newsletter, you'll be one of the first ones to hear about it. So thanks again for subscribing, and let's get back to the video. So in a previous video, I set up this garden bed and showed you how I filled it with various items and planted up some strawberries, which are good companions to grow with garlic. So this end of the garlic bed is going to be for strawberries, and then over here is where we're going to set up the garlic. So in general, garlic prefers sandy loam soils that drain well during wet periods and hold moisture during dry periods. They also are heavy feeders, so having high organic matter and good fertility in your soil is also ideal. So my soil mixture is a combination of aged manure and vermiculite. So it's about 75% aged manure and the vermiculite I mixed in, which helps bring some aeration to the soil, keeps it light so it doesn't get too heavy or compacted, helps retain that moisture. So it is a good idea if you have some good quality compost to mix in either some vermiculite, some perlite, or even some peat moss. So we got some rain the other day, so this is pretty moist. I'm just kind of chopping it up just to kind of break it up. It's a little bit lumpy. As I said, you want to have nice loose soil for that garlic to be able to grow. So it's recommended that garlic be planted about four inches down. I'm going to use my hori hori knife just to kind of gauge that four inch mark. I might even go a little bit deeper just because I want to make sure that garlic is well insulated this winter. So I'm just going to start digging my holes, making on about that four or five inch depth. And we want to space them about six inches apart. So I have my holes dug here ready for the larger size garlic bulbs. So in the garlic kit that I received from Mind and Soil also comes a super large bag of worm castings, which we are going to be using today, and also some 444 superfood. This uh, Jordan recommends not fertilizing your garlic with until the spring, so we're just going to be using that next spring. I was really excited about all these beautiful worm castings. I'll be using these in all my holes next spring and when I'm planting in my garden. They're heavy feeders, so they need a lot of food. So this worm castings in each of the holes is gonna be a big help for them. So here in a cold climate like I live in, planting garlic directly into the ground is probably the best option because it's gonna be well uh, insulated during the winter and has the best chance of survival. I have done that for a few years, but I had a lot of issues with quack grass invading my garlic patch, and garlic doesn't really like to fight with weeds and everything. They like to have, you know, their own space. They don't do well when they're overgrown with weeds, which is probably why my crops weren't too great. So that's why I am trying the garden bed method here and hoping that this will produce some garlic for me next year. So when you're planting, you always make sure this flat end goes down and the pointy end is up. I'm press it down in there. As far as I can, just going to kind of dig it down nice and deep. We will be mulching this with a bunch of leaves to give it a really good cover this winter, keep it insulated. So I'm just going to check that depth here. So 
once I cover these up, they will be about five inches down, which I think is going to be good. So we still are a few weeks away from where the ground is going to freeze solid, so you want to get your garlic in usually by the end of September to mid-October so that those little roots can get established and then the garlic needs to go through that cold period so that in the spring it'll kick start it out of dormancy and it will start taking off early spring. Okay so as you can see here I've put a little uh, marker here with a string across just so I can keep track of the bigger bulbs planted over here and now my bulbs are going to be planted on this side. I did three across trying to keep that six inch spacing in between but uh, because here is a little bit smaller and I really want to maximize this minimal space that I have here I'm going to plant four across this way. So I've got my holes started. I'm going to throw some worm castings in here. once you've got your garlic all planted up, the final step now is to give it a good layer of mulch. My soil is very moist right now, so I'm not going to worry about watering. That is something that you could do is give them a good watering if your soil is pretty dry. So I've got leaves falling all over my yard now, so I'm going to go start collecting some leaves and get a good mulch layer on my garlic. So I got a big batch of leaves all raked up here with my bagging lawnmower. That's the best way to do it. You don't have to rake if you have a bagging lawnmower or one of those leaf blowers that sucks up leaves. Those work great. So now I'm going to just give everything a good covering of leaf mulch. I'm going to also cover up the strawberries. We're getting some frost at night. so. I want to start protecting them. So using the, the bagger mower also breaks down these leaves a little bit so they're a little bit broken down which is nice because they will add some organic matter to the soil as well. Now we do have wind today that is going to probably blow away a lot of my leaves so I may just wet this down a little bit they are calling for rain tonight too which will help but I'm gonna start with just this layer here ah don't blow away <laughs> better get some water on here so I'm just gonna give it a good layer today wet it down so that it hopefully doesn't all blow away and then I will probably continuously add more layers over the next few weeks just to make sure I have a really good layer of insulation on this bed. So thanks again to Mind and Soil for sending me your garlic kit. I will leave the link to Jordan's website and store in the description box below. So we won't see the results of the growing challenge until next summer. So I hope that you will subscribe to the channel and stay tuned till next year to see how my garlic crop turns out. And to help my channel out, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and we will see you on the next video.